Good afternoon and welcome to the Seabury Church of Christ midweek lesson for December 28th, 2022. Wanted to talk to you for just a few minutes about the fact that God is for us. May we live with the freedom, brethren, the peace and the joy that Jesus died to give us. If you would, turn in your Bibles to Romans chapter 8 and look at verses 31 through 34. And follow with me as I read Romans chapter 8, verses 31 through 34. When then shall we say to these things, If God is for us, who is against us? He who did not spare his own son, but delivered him over for us all. How will he not also with him freely give us all things? Who will bring a charge against God's elect? God is the one who justifies. Who is the one who condemns? Christ Jesus is he who died, yes, rather who was raised, who is at the right hand of God, who also intercedes for us. You know, throughout life, there will be times when our sins and failures might lead us to conclude that, that God is, is disappointed with us or even angry with us. When that happens, you and I need to fix our eyes on the truth of scripture and ask the questions that Paul posed in Romans chapter eight. The first question, if God is for us, who is against us? Verse 31, our heavenly father proved his loyalty to mankind when he delivered his own son over to death in order to save us. And his son was willing to go to the cross and die for our sins so that we might have an opportunity for life eternal. The next question is in verse 33. Who will bring charges against God's elect? No accusation against us can stand since at the moment of salvation, the Lord justified us. This means that we were legally declared righteous while still in our sinful condition. No one can, <clears throat> excuse me, reverse this transaction and make us guilty again. The next question is, who is the one who condemns? Verse 34, although Satan rails and rallies against us, Jesus' death and resurrection are proof that we are right with God. Christ took our condemnation and gave us his righteousness in return. Now he sits at the Father's right hand and he is interceding for us. When doubts about the Lord's love and faithfulness ar arise in our lives, we need to focus on the truth. If we judge his loyalty to us by our circumstances or our feelings, we will never, ever, brethren, get an active view of God. True security lies not in our good performance, but in our relationship with Christ Jesus, our Savior. And if we're striving to follow his commands, no one, no one can take that from us. So when time seems rough and gloomy, we sometimes fall into that trap of thinking that, that God has forgotten us or he's angry with us because of what we've done. Brethren, we are his children as long as we have confessed his name, been buried in baptism and raised to walk in the newness of life for the remission of sins. 
We are his children. And if we strive to follow his commands, we have assurance that it is his blood that will continually cleanse us. And we will have life eternal. So don't lose focus. Don't lose focus because God is loyal. He's truthful. His promises are true. And as we begin a new year, you need to realize, we need to realize and put our trust in him and build a stronger relationship in 2023. Just something to think about for the rest of the week and to realize how fortunate we are to have such a loving father who cares about us as long as we strive to do his will and follow his commands. Think about that for the rest of this week. And I hope and pray that you have a great new year. We're so thankful that you tune in to our lessons and we hope and pray that you share them with your friends, your neighbors, your loved ones to help us spread the gospel of Christ. And we thank you again for tuning in and would like to invite you to our worship services at the Seabury Church of Christ. Our Sunday school begins at 9.30 a.m. each Sunday morning, and our worship service follows at 10.30. Please, if you can, come visit with us. We would love to have you. And as always, if the Seabury Church can be of any help to you, if we possibly can, we would like to do that. You can reach us at 270-823-2335. And again, thank you for tuning in. And I hope and pray that you have a great rest of this week and a great new year. May God bless you.